Hi, this is Andy Filippiak in Toronto for the week of July the 3rd. Several weeks ago, UBS came out with a fascinating research report showing the rate of growth globally in credit. The first chart in their article looked at the second derivative of credit growth, meaning the rate of change of credit growth throughout the world. Now this chart was going straight up until several months ago, and now it started to drop. The research report shows that going back to the 1980s, it took $3 of credit growth to deliver $1 of GDP. Currently, we are at 6%, or sorry, $6 of credit growth for every dollar of GDP growth. So the growth in credit is crucial to not only the economy, but asset prices. Now, going back to 2009 during the financial crisis, it was clear there was not enough credit creation through the normal process of bank loans and business loans, etc. So central banks around the world stepped in with quantitative easing, which effectively grew the amount of credit in the system through the central banks printing money, buying bonds, and getting this extra credit into the system. Now what's fascinating, since QE began, the rise in asset prices globally for stocks, bonds, and real estate matched the growth rate in credit. So we've been the major beneficiary around the globe of asset prices rising because of credit growth, but also this credit growth helping with GDP growth. Recently, in the last several months, as I mentioned, credit growth has not only slowed, but it's started to contract. Now this analogy is like looking at a bathtub. You start the hose, central bankers poured this money into the bathtub, everything rose with it, and the rate of flow from the hose kept getting greater and greater. Now the hose is no longer put out any growth and the bathtub plug has been pulled. So for people who are investing in markets, this fact is crucial as money when it's created can flow anywhere around the world, it's fungible. And given again the credit creation correlation to asset prices, this chart is truly frightening. I've included a copy of the article along with the charts on this uh, email. So please have a look at it, I'd be happy to entertain any questions. The declining trend in credit growth is something that should not be fought. Thanks for watching.